happens right now is if there's okay, a as the promised, we, cut the bar. The we are going to is there, turn this into a vacuum there, port right here on our truck intake, like I did over here. It is a pressure filled situation, and I'm gonna go step by step to show you. First things first, I'm going to show you the fitting that we're putting in there. This is for my boost gauge. Right here, it is a 3 sixteenths, and that is 3 eighths pipe thread. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's not 3 eighths pipe thread. It is quarter inch pipe thread. Okay? Now, I do not have a quarter inch pipe thread tap, so I had to make one. So what I do is I use a brass fitting and I make a tap out of it. I grind grooves in it like that with a die grinder all the way around and then I kind of just grind the tip down just a little bit. You don't need much. Okay? It's plastic now. We're going into plastic. It's not like we're tapping tool steel, you know? So, so first step what we're going to do is we're going to grind this plus sign down all right and because it's a raised impression here when we grind it down it's going to leave a plus sign in the flat plastic because it's different understand it's a uh, it's not different but it's just it just does i don't know why i think it's because maybe it's just cooled maybe different when they formed it but first we're gonna do is we're gonna grind it down. You can still see the plus sign in it, okay? And that in the very center is gonna be our very center of our cap there. Now, I use a Unibit. Um, <clears throat> and I've already tested this one out and the all the way, all the way in is the perfect size for that, that uh, quarter fitting. So we're gonna find the center here, which is right there. And we're going to drill it. Okay. All the way through. There might be some plastic in there, but don't fret. It will not do anything. It'll just go right on out the exhaust. Trust me. All right. So now, I'm going to take our tap here. Our handmade tap. Homemade. And we're just going to kind of start it there. And you only need to go in just a little bit just to get our thread started. Kind of like that. Let me back it off. Let's take a look in there. Let me get up on my battery here and take a look. See if we're all the way through. Yeah, we're all the way through. <laughs> okay. So now... I'm going to shift gears here. Let's get this out of here if I can. Let's see. There we go. Now, I actually have got to pause you for a minute so I can get some sealant. So you just take a little bit of your sealant. RTV, or, you know, GMS RTV, whatever you want. Or pipe sealant. Pipe sealant works good too. RTV, I think, works okay i'd rather see pipe sealant but i don't have any or i can't find mine so this is gonna have to do if it creates a vacuum leak then i'll reseal it you know but that's the name of the game so that's that's why we chose this okay so now pop that in there Thread our new fitting in for the boost gauge. I got this at Home Depot. Can't believe they actually had this. I've known Steve a long time, and I've seen him build many cars. 
everything he builds can be driven and doesn't require there we go that's nice and tight you don't want to get too crazy with it because it is a taper fit you know but okay so there's that now put our cap back on our See, so it won't get all hard and, and you're all pissed off later because you can't get any out of it. Alright. Grab our boost gauge wire. Our hose, I should say, not wire. And we're gonna slide it on there. I'm actually gonna... Oh my god. Oh, that's on there. Good. I'm gonna heat this up just a touch because it's freaking cold out here. I mean, it's freaking freezing. It's probably 30 degrees. That's all right. Fortunately, they're well on their way. Since they ran the oh. car, they all right, folks, don't mean to get seasick. First, they dropped in probably one of the <laughs> biggest, baddest engines you can get. This all right, so. It looks exactly like Grab our heat gun here. Oh, Mr. Badass itself. We're not going to get too crazy with the heat. We're just going to warm up a little bit. Okay. And that's going in. We called on Aaron, our header guy, to custom build some pipes that are easy to box here. And she's on there. He doesn't want it to drone on the highway, so it has to have a nice note when you rev it up. And, and that's it. Major body tweaks to the it's wax, easy as that, folks. The angle of the door by lengthening Let me get you off of here. Second we all saw it, it okay. Hang with me now. Ford should have done it this way. And there so we go. A 10 for 10 hit. It's all they installed, just like that. Nice and easy. Into the no sweat. All right, I'm going to zoom you out and here. And Actually, I'm going to pause you. All right, let's see if this piece of crap works. Here we go. Here we go. Well, there we go, folks. Piece of cake. So if you've got a truck intake and you're looking to put you know, vacuum ports in it, you got five others other than the one that's on the other side, the one that you you break the tip off it. So, works good. Thanks for watching.